Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today, in this video, we're going to explore one of the coolest text blending effect out there, the text blending effect by one of the most creative travel content creator, Eric Hedenfolk. If you're a fan of him and wanna learn how to take your video into the next level, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll explore some of the coolest techniques and tools you can use to achieve that professional, eye-catching look that will make your viewers go wow. So grab your seats and let's get started. This is going to be epic. Create new composition. I'll rename it text effect. And then hit OK. Now let's drag our clip into the timeline. Select the clip from the project panel, interpret footage, main. Then change the frame rate into 23.976, then hit OK. Go to composition settings, and make sure it has the same frame rate as your clip. This is to make the footage look more natural, has realistic motion and allows for a consistent look across all formats. Next, create new text layer. I'm gonna type Laos. Scale it up. I'm gonna place it here. Select the main clip, go to edit and duplicate. Place the duplicated clip above the text layer. Select the text layer, reveal the track mat menu. Then drag the pick whip tool into the duplicated clip. As you can see, it's on an alpha mat mode. This is to reveal the text layer below the duplicated clip. With the text layer selected, apply displacement map effect. In can rename the duplicated clip into displacement map. Select the text layer, change the displacement map layer into displacement map. This is to allow us to displace and make the edge of the text look rough. Just play with the value of max horizontal and vertical displacement until you achieve the look that you want. Next, change the blending mode into overlay, this is to blend the text into the field. Ok, looking good, but the text is off. To make it more realistic, we have to add 3D camera tracker. Alright, select some tracking points by pressing shift on the keyboard and left click. Right click and create solid and camera. As you can see, the solid layer is already tracked on the scene, select the solid layer, press P on the keyboard to reveal the position option, select the text layer and again press P to reveal the position option, copy the position of the solid layer and paste it into the position of the text layer. As you may see here, the text did not yet stick into the ground, it's because the text layer is not yet converted into 3D layer. I'm gonna convert the layer into 3D. Alright, the text now takes the motion data of the main clip. Okay, we can now hide the solid layer, 
Reposition the text according to your liking. Change the opacity of text layer into about 70. Then apply Gaussian Blur. Change the value of blurriness into 6. And there you have the simple version of the text blending effect. Next, we're gonna create an advanced text blend effect where we're gonna hide some portion of the text behind the moving subject. Create new composition. I'm gonna rename this as text effect 2. Drag the clip into the timeline. Convert the clip's frame rate into 23.976 to make it the same frame rate with the composition. Alright, create new text layer. I'm gonna type Laos. Scale it up. I'm gonna place it here. Duplicate the main clip. Put it above the text layer. I'm gonna rename it as Displacement Map. Alright, set the text layer as Alpha Mat by dragging the Pick Whip tool to the duplicated layer. It's now set to Alpha Mat. Next, change the blending mode into Overlay. Select the main clip, and add Camera Tracker. Select some tracking points, create new solid and camera. Then copy the position of the solid layer into the position of the text layer. I'm gonna convert the layer into 3D. Cool. The text layer now sticks to the ground. Hide the solid layer. Scale up the text and I'm gonna position it across the moving truck. Alright. The effect looks good, but the problem is the portion of the text overlaps with the moving truck. I'm gonna lower the opacity a bit, I'll make it around 75. To fix the overlapping text and moving truck, select the main clip. Duplicate. Place it above the duplicate clip. With the second duplicate clip selected, 
create a mask around the truck. Create a keyframes of the mask path in the beginning, middle and at the end of the clip. Play with the value of the mask feather and mask expansion until the text no longer overlaps with the truck. Select the text layer and apply displacement map effect. Then change the displacement map layer into displacement map. Then source into effects and mask. Then play with the value of the max horizontal and vertical displacement according to your liking. Lower the opacity into about 50. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new. If you're a fan of travel content, be sure also to check out Eric Hedenfalk's channel to see more of his travel videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.